Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I know I just uploaded a video of my game against Mittens, but I just played him again. Because I thought, well, a draw against Mittens is not a bad result. You know, a lot of people have been struggling against him. But the game I just played against him is one that I really wanted to share with you guys. Now, one quick note, after that one draw that I made against him, I played another game and lost. But this game is something you definitely want to watch. So let's have a look. Once again, I open up with the move 1d4. And in this game, Mittens opened up with the move f5, known as the Dutch defense. Now, the Dutch were known as very nice people, but I honestly don't like the opening. I think like we got one of the worst openings of all. And I play g3, one of the most classical systems. Knight f6, bishop g2, and g6. And this is called the Leningrad variation of the Dutch. So knight f3, bishop g7, short castles, castles. c4, d6, knight c3. And here we have put, we here we have what is called one of the main tabias of the Dutch Leningrad. Tabias is, is like one of the starting positions, really where the whole game starts. Black has a lot of options here. C6 is the main move, knight c6, queen e8. Mittens went for the move knight to c6. And I played the move d5, the critical move. Now the knight has to decide where is it gonna go. If it goes to e5, well, white's gonna trade. And then white can try to use this majority on the queen side. Most like queen b3 and rook d1. White's generally considered to be better here. But Mittens went for the move knight to a5. So he's attacking the pawn on c4. Or actually, I should say she. I think it's a she. And white is to decide how am I going to defend this pawn? I can play knight d2, queen e3. But I went for the move b3, which is the most ambitious move. The idea behind the move b3 is to shut this knight on a5 out of the game, like it cannot come back. But the drawback is that it opens up this diagonal towards the rook. So black has some tactics. Now, the move knight xd5 does not work because white just takes it with the queen, which is a check. And that's pretty much the end of the variation. After e6, I win another piece. So knight xd5 is not a move. So Mittens went for the move knight to e4, attacking the knight, which is pinned, because, well, the rook is hanging in the corner. But I just took it. Now, here black can take the rook or take the knight. If black takes the knight on e4, I can go knight d4, move my knight, and block the attack. And black doesn't have a good way of reinforcing the attack on the rook on a1. And also the pawn on e4 now is pretty weak. If black goes c5, I just take en croissant. And if black takes back with the knight now, here I go bishop b2. Again, upon the forest weak and white is quite a bit better. So Mittens decided to take up the challenge and take the rook on a1 right away. And I play knight e g5. So I'm down at full exchange, but again, black's king is a little bit exposed because of that move f5 on the very first move. Again, that's why I don't recommend playing the Dutch. And also this knight on a5 is kind of off. And I have the idea of going knight d4 and put a knight on e6. So Mittens played the move c5, taking knight e4 out of the position. And here... Perhaps I got a little bit too ambitious or aggressive. I should have just played the move e4. You know, opening up the center, rookie one also is an idea. Maybe h4, h5 later. If like takes an e4, I go knight h4. And white's attack looks pretty scary. Again, I have a lot of pieces around black's king. This knight on e5 is completely out. And it's not easy to include the bishop in the defense either. But I just thought I decided to go straight for the kill and play the move h4. Mittens drop the bishop back to g7, h5. But after Mittens played the move h6, I kind of regretted just pushing this h-pawn up the board recklessly. Because what do I do now? Right? I consider taking on g6 for a moment, but I think it's really too much. If black takes on g5, I cannot quite take with a knight. I would love to go e4 and queen h5, but black goes queen e8. And that really takes the sting out of white's attack. So I had to play knight e6. Black has to take. We take, and Mittens played g5, keeping the king side a little bit close. If black takes on h5... I go knight h4, followed by e4, this is weak, a f5 is weak, and white has a very strong attack here, but g5 is correct. Now here I played e4. Again, I want to blast open the position. And here, or around these moves, Mittens made some mistakes. I think black really should have tried to bring back the knight to the defense. Knight c6 to d4 or e5 looks pretty alright for black. And as you guys can see, black actually has an advantage here, so I actually misplayed the game. But Mittens with the pawn d4 looks pretty logical. Just go knight h2. My idea is that I want to take the bishop on e4, put the knight on g4, maybe drop the bishop back, queen c2, and all of a sudden things get very scary around the black king. And again, here I think Mittens really should have played the move knight c6. With knight e4 or knight e5 to follow, black has much better chances to survive. Even though after bishop 64, I would certainly choose to be white here in a practical game, meaning again, white's 
only down the exchange, Black's King is pretty weak, and my moves are pretty simple. Mithens played the move b5. Alright, I took an e4, bc, and of course we are not interested in taking the rook in the corner. We want to go for checkmate. So I can go bishop b1, again with the idea of queen c2, but I decided to go knight g4 first. Rook c8, and now bishop b1. And what does black even do here? I just want to go queen c2, queen h7 checkmate, and I do not see it. If black takes here, I can recapture or just like queen e3 right away. So Mittens decided to play the move rook f6, and here I consider taking on f6 for a brief moment, but black can take it upon, and it's not so clear how exactly I'm breaking through. Like, black's position here is pretty solid, the king can sit on f8, and it's not so easy to break through. So I decided to play queen c2 right away, with queen h7 to follow. So king f8, queen h7, black took on e6, and here f4, blasting open the f-hole. Making our way through the black king. Mithens gave a check. King h1. My king sits pretty safely here in the corner. And I don't know what black's supposed to do here. I, I just want to take here. Open up the f file. Queen f7. I thought maybe black should just run with king e8 to d7. But black played queen c7. So g5. King e8. Check. King e7. And bishop f5. The bishop comes back into the game. And black does not have a good way of defending the rook. And not only is black going to lose the rook. He's also going to face a devastating attack. The one thing black could have tried is check. Now I have to go king h2 and queen d5. But here white has a very pretty line. I calculated rook to e1, heading the rook once more. And if black goes bishop b5, here white actually has two very pretty ways of winning. I thought, okay, just knight takes e5, de, bishop e6, queen e6, and rook d1. Pretty straightforward. We give a check and win the queen on the next move. But even prettier is the move rook takes e5. With the idea de and knight f6. This rook is pinned, this pawn is pinned, black is going to lose the queen, and with that, the entire house, black is just completely busted. So Mittens just played CB, but this is just clear resignation almost. I mean, I take the rook with a check, king c6, and I can take another rook, but it's not that clear, because if I take the rook, well, black's going to trade, take an a2, he has this pawn, the knight's jumping in, so not so clear, so I decided to go bishop d2 first. Putting pressure on the knight and just continuing my attack. Mittens played king b6. Now here, the best move according to the computer is to take on b3 and continue the attack. But I thought, well, I can just trade everything down. And yes, black has this scary pawn on a2. But hey, I also have these pawns on the king side. So when bishop b6, force black to queen. I give my rook and now knight takes h6. And what is black going to do? I'm just going to go knight f5, h6, g6, g7. And there's nothing black can, can do here. So, Mittens played d5. I just took king b5, knight f5, c4, h6, king c5. I gave the bishop a bit now, g6, g7, just decides the game. King e5, g7, take, take, king e5, I queened. And the rest was not very difficult. I took the last couple of pawns, brought the king up, pushed the king back to the edge of the board, and checkmate. So, we'll see you guys. Final boss of chess, Mittens, has been defeated. So, I don't know, like, how strong is this bot, really? A lot of chess streamers have struggled with it, but, I don't know, I've played three games against it. One was a pretty comfortable draw. I lost one game, but in this game, we absolutely crushed the bot. So, let me know what you guys think. Anyway, I was very happy with this game. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.